everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I'm Dano, and I'm back with more Disneyland postcards. Now, in my last video about Disneyland postcards, I showed you guys this big old book. It's got a bunch of postcards in there. But that wasn't all. I actually found a lot more in the bag that they were in. Uh, in fact, if you guys want to see the bag, this is the bag that it came in. It's a little frail. I don't want to move it too much. It's got some rips on it because it's really old. Uh, but it's this cool paper bag. It's got all different colors of pink on it. And in really, like, simple gold line, like, very blocky, is representations of all, like, a bunch of different Disneyland attractions. There's a Jungle Cruise boat, there's a train, there's a castle, Mark Twain's on there, King Arthur's carousel. All kinds of cool stuff is on here. And this is, like, just a neat little piece of Disneyland history that you can't find anywhere. This is, I don't know if you consider this an antique or what, but I've never seen anything like this. And now inside that bag was not only that book that we looked at last time of all the different postcards, but there was more postcards. Here's some jumbo postcards that came in there. And these are big. These are like a bit bigger. So just to compare to like a regular size postcard. So these are way bigger. So a bit taller, a bit wider. So these are, these are and the edges around, which is kind of weird. So the first one I've got here is Sleeping Beauty Castle Fantasyland. Um, it's just your basic, you know, your basic shot. Some of these actually were in that same book, but they're just little different shots now. It looks so grown over. There's like so much green. I feel like it's more open now. When you at least standing right there, it looks like it's a shot from just in front of the partner statue. Or maybe just behind the partner statue before there was a partner statue is what that looks like. That's kind of interesting. Okay, next one is another cool little... Sh it's, I like this shot. It's, you know, sideways, not your normal postcard phase, but it's uh, the Skyway through the Matterhorn. So you can see the little Skyway bucket on there cutting right through the middle of the mountain. And there's a gray submarine at the bottom, back when it used to be 20,000 leagues under the sea, or the submarine voyage, whichever name you want to give it. Um, and that's kind of cool to see, because now they're all, you know, yellow and emo and... This is, this is really cool. I love that. Next one is the hippos. We saw them in my last video. They kind of took over. And it's just a, you know, your basic shot, just Adventureland hippos. Um, not much has changed on those. They're pretty much the exact same. I've got another cool vertical shot this time of the sailing ship Columbia. And I don't think much has changed on that. Um, it's really cool. It's one of those attractions that like, I went to Disneyland for years and never really went on this for some reason. I went on Mark Twain, went on everything else. And it wasn't until I had been going for like three or four years, pretty regularly, that I finally went on Sailing Ship Columbia. And I was blown away. I was like, why the heck didn't I ever get on this thing? You can go down there, you can walk around, they fire a cannon. It's pretty cool. All right, so also on the Rivers of America are gonna be my last two postcards. One of them is the raft to Tom Sawyer Island, now Pirate's Island. They got rid of the whole Tom Sawyer thing, though there's a couple, a few little nods to the Tom Sawyer thing left on the island. Um, it's now mostly pirates, and I like what they did. I think they did a good job, but I miss some of the old stuff that used to be there. Uh, the whole Fort Wilderness is closed because some kid lost a finger while playing with the guns up there, and it kind of it's ruined now for everybody. So I hope it was worth it, little girl or boy. I hope it was worth it. And last one on here is uh, there's another little boy playing with his dog right in front of the Mark Twain. And again, that's I don't I don't know exactly. I'm assuming by the Indian village is where this little boy's from. But uh, I don't know for sure. I don't think much has changed. Either way, it's, this is probably the least favorite of all the postcards that I've got here. But now we're going to move into the normal size postcards. This is just one of many spots we're going to be doing. So I kind of put them together as a little bit of a walk down Main Street. So the first one of these postcards is actually the same as the front of that old postcard book that I've got. So nothing really different. There's actually a description on this one. It says, guests entering the Magic Kingdom are greeted by a floral Mickey Mouse and the Santa Fe and Disneyland Depot where a scaled down model of a passenger train of another era puffs out of the station to take them on a scenic tour of Disneyland. Now what I really like about this picture is there's these tiny little posters at the very bottom and they're, I mean they're not tiny, they're tiny on the picture but they're big, they're huge giant posters of the old attractions and I've been doing a couple things with vintage attraction posters lately. Um, I've been hanging them up around my house. I bought that set of 20 or whatever that Disneyland put out, or like 12 posters. Um, I bought those, framed them, put them up around my house. I did some shoes recently. You might want to check out the video here featuring some uh, vintage Disneyland poster artwork that I put on some vans for a really cool client of mine. 
Um, but I like looking at those posters because some of those I've never seen anywhere. There's a Golden Horseshoe Review. There's Nature's Wonderland, which I might have seen, but I don't specifically remember that one. Um, I believe it's Tom Sawyer Island in the corner. But it's those tiny little details in these postcards, which that's really what I like about these things. So next up, just on the other side of the train station, is this one. Again, this was also in the last video. But again, the one thing I didn't really touch on or notice was those posters. If you look on the side of the omnibus, there's these little, this time they're more like a horizontal layout, but these are more posters I've never seen anywhere. Uh, there's one with Monster of the Whale on it. Like I've seen some, the vertical ones that are like the normal posters, like at the front of the park, but never anything like this with the sideways ones. And I wonder if anyone out there, or anyone has any info on those. Um, send it my way because I would love to get those or even like have a good picture of them and just recreate them myself That'd be cool, too I've got one more shot here from the center of Main Street This is kind of just from the train station looking down over Town Square and there's all kinds of neat little stuff on there You got all the vehicles going. There's a horse-drawn carriage. There's a little fire truck And this is to me what gives Main Street its real cool feel I and mean, it, it's the perfect introduction to walking into Disneyland is walking in and seeing all these, you know, the movement. There's such like cool kinetic energy going on everywhere. There's cars going this way, people being honked at because they're not watching where they're going. Main Street, it's, it's got a little special place. All right, so these next two postcards are both kind of heading down Main Street. It's the Flower Mart. I've got two different shots of it, and this is completely gone now. There's nothing, like this is what Main Street used to have on it. There was all kinds of different places. Now we have like the Magic Shop, Penny Arcade, which is not what it used to be. Uh, there's like two games in there and that's it. I'm just glad Esmeralda's not gone. But there used to be all kinds of different specialty shops. One of them was the Flower Mart. There was also a, uh, a bra shop. There's a place where you can get watches custom made. But there's the cool little Flower Mart. They don't sell flowers like that anymore because really, if you were to go to Disneyland, would you want to carry around a bouquet of flowers all day? All right, so a little bit further down the way, we've got another shot. This was kind of a cool one. This is, again, another vintage Mickey Mouse and the Disneyland band, and it's Mickey Mouse and he's not creepy, which is cool because some of those old ones were creepy, but I think that the fact that he doesn't have a creepy mask on helps us kind of figure out the era from when they're from. The bad part is these postcards, none of them, not one, has the year stamped anywhere on it. So I kind of want your help if you guys have taken a look at these, you've gone over to dano.net, D-A-N-O.net. Go to the blog, you can sit there and you can watch or look at the pictures a bit bigger so you don't have to sit and watch me flip through them and yak about them. Uh, but you can kind of like, I want you guys to look at these pictures, study them, and let me know if you have any details as to when these things are from. I'm down to two more here. This is more in the hub. We've got Horse Drawn Streetcar, but it's in front of the Matterhorn. Uh, and you get just kind of a view of the whole plaza. Again, you can see people's cool, neat wardrobes. There's a little kid there wearing some capri pants with his mom. And this, it looks like back then, every day was Dapper Day. Not just like, you know, twice a year. So that's, it's kind of cool to see that. All right, guys, this last postcard, it's not necessarily Main Street, but I didn't have anywhere else that I wanted to put it because it's part of the train. It's actually the... Uh, Primeval World little portion with all the dinosaurs on there now. Personally, I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan of dinosaurs. And this is, you know, the cool little diorama that you see from the Santa Fe Railroad. And to me, it's more Main Street because of history. You know, it's old. It's reaching, I know, but it's old. So I figured this can go with Main Street because, because of how old it is, I wouldn't say that it fits in with Tomorrowland. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Where, what land would you put this in? Let me know in the comments below. Guys, that has been it for this round of all the postcards. I wanna know what you thought about them. Did you like them? Did you check out my last video where I was at Disneyland with only four hours and had to cram in as much as I could? Uh, let me know if you guys watched that and now you're watching this and you wanna see more of these postcards because I really actually do want your help figuring out when these things came from. There will be a couple more episodes of this little vintage postcard series coming uh, where I'm going to go through the different postcards from the different land. So today was Main Street. Next time uh, we're going to tackle a different land. And again, let me know. Comment, comment, comment. Go crazy. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's always really, really appreciated. Um, stay tuned for more and I will see you guys later. Bye.